Hey guys, Casey Foster here from netcodeguides.com bringing you this video teaching you how to take a ramp on DE Mirage. This video is actually powered by 8eSport. They're one of our sponsors. Um, they've worked out a little deal where we can bring you guys this free content. Um, in return, we would like you to check out their website. It is 8eSport.com. They're an all-inclusive betting, trading, and pot skin website for CSGO, and they have other games as well. Um, so if you like this video, you like our content, please check them out. I'll put a link in the description below and show, show them some love. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Showing you a solo queue or T-sided play for a ramp on DE Mirage that I like to do. Um, I do it in team game scrims, matches, pogs, whatever. Uh, it's a really effective play. It's a good way to lurk, get some kills. If your teammates are working something else on the other side of the map, it's a good way to just try and get some frags, um, get some early information. Um, but it requires a flash or two flashes. Oh, that was pretty sick. I actually don't even know if I saw that dude that I was shooting at, but I hit him. That's a common spam. Most people smoke a ramp. I'll go to the ramp and just spam that anyway. Uh, but what this what this play requires is a smoke, um, two flashes. Um, it can actually only be done with one smoke and one flash as well. Um, I'm going to show you how it works in real time here in a match. Or This is actually a SIVO pug. Um, so what you do is you throw the smoke off that wall. I'm going to show you exactly how to line it up, how to throw it, everything you need to know. Um, and then I throw that secondary flash right there. See, obviously it flashes both of those guys. It flashes the stairs guy as well as anybody that's behind triple stack um, to potentially spam you. Um, the, really the only place that you really need to check is close left right here. Um, so obviously right here in the edge, I didn't clear it. It's because I got there relatively early and I just assumed nobody was up close. Um, and then right over this box here is the second place you need to clear. Um, so you see I come out, I got a free frag on the dude that ran across. I got a kill on the dude on stairs. And then the guy here in sight as well, I got a pretty easy kill on. So what this smoke does is it eliminates the possibility of you being shot from like multiple places at the same time. So I got into the corner, killed the dude at stairs. Then I know that his teammate is gonna try and trade frag on me and he's gonna be either two places in sight or he's gonna be under balcony. And I found him relatively quickly and got the kill on the dude that was in sight. So basically, I opened up the A site single-handedly with a smoke and a flash. Obviously, I had killed the dude earlier in the round, and then my teammates killed the person in mid. Um, but it's a really effective way to take a ramp. I did it probably six or seven times in this one pug. And um, I think, I, I, think I, I at least got one kill every single time I did it. Uh, they eventually... They eventually started nading and spamming the smoke. So all I did was throw the smoke, wait for like three seconds, then they would burn all their stuff, and then I would go afterwards. So let me show you guys how everything works and uh, how to do it in uh, this next part of this video. All right, now let's show you how to do this. So obviously before you come and get ready to throw the smoke, you'll want to clear up close here. Um, in the beginning of the rounds, you'll pretty much see me always sitting like right here at the ramp to dodge a flash or if they flash over you're under this ledge right here you don't get as flashed and then um i'll come and clear you know up close like this um usually this is smoked by the time i get here so then i'll really just clear up close and then clear here in the corner um that's pretty much it once you're in that spot you just basically go into this wall and you can see how you this like ledge stops you when you try and go back and then there's a little basically a T right here between these two bricks and the, the one here at the top. And then you just run a little bit going forward and throw the smoke at the same time like that. And then it basically pops in, I mean, pretty close to the same spot. It's okay if it misses a little bit, but what happens is basically your only gap that you can really be shot out of when you come up is like right here. And then obviously a dude, it's there. So once I throw that smoke, then I don't even peek and I just throw a high flash off that wall there. And you can see it pops on top of the stairs and it'll flash anybody back there. And then I'll come into this corner. So obviously, let's um, let's uh, get another smoke up here, and I'll show you what it looks like when I come into the play. So I'll obviously wait till the the smoke is there. I'll throw the flash off the wall from like this kind of angle, and then I'll clear up close, and then basically this dude is gonna you know, be looking at ramp, and then there could potentially be a guy here, and a guy here, and then a guy here. And 
what I like to do is come into this corner, take the fight with this guy for a second, and then come around this corner, once, the, obviously when the smoke is still here, and try and take this fight with this guy here. And then I'll jump up on this box and clear the guy that's here or at CT spawn. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like from, from their point of view with the smokes up. And you can see how, how just awesome it is and um, just how they pretty much just have no chance when you're like that. So I'll come here. I'll take a fight with this guy just, you know, on the edge of the smoke here. And then obviously that guy. And then I'll take a fight with this guy here and spawn. And if your smoke is a little bit deeper, you have more of a more of a smoke cloud to, to shoot this guy and see spawn without, without him seeing you. So let's uh, – I'm actually going to just use the POV of the players that I killed in the match. And you can see it in real time exactly what it looks like. All right, and here's what it looks like from the stairs player. So my smoke just popped. I threw a flash right on the, the top of the stairs. He's going to come out and peek, and pretty easy frag on him. He really didn't see me. Obviously, you could see me because of the shadow or the little glowing spot around me. Um, but it was a relatively hard shot for him, especially using an op shooting down. All he could see was the tip of my head over the smoke. Um, and now let's see what it looks like from the next player's point of view. All right, and here's the, the player's point of view, or the site player's point of view. The smoke's out. I threw the flash. I'm going to get the kill on his teammate real quick. And then you can see he can barely see my shoulder and a little bit of my head. Um, obviously, he's not expecting me to jump up on that box and take that fight. Uh, but that's really what this play does, is it's kind of just you're just going to basically be lurking around that smoke, using that to cover you from the site um, and the bad guys to net yourself some easy frags so um hope you guys enjoyed this video uh you can i have a, a lot of these similar plays uh i made one on dust 2 showing people how to take b by themselves or you know you can do it with a teammate but you can basically do the play by yourself i have a bunch of these for all the maps you guys seem to like the dust 2 one um so i'm gonna do it obviously i did this one and i'm gonna do another one on probably another map probably later this week um, basically these are plays that you can do in any kind of situation team games pugs scrims matches everything um, it's just a, a really a, here's me doing it again let's see what happens he gets the corner kill get the guy in the, the stairs get the spawn player so there you go just two rounds in a row where the play just works so anyway hope you guys enjoyed that thanks